This color ain't gonna fade. Hey PD peeps, what's cracking? Another Tablet Tuesday has come around the bend and it's time for me to show you guys how to do the color fade effect using the PowerDirector mobile, Android and iOS app. If you're new to my channel and you wanna learn how to use PowerDirector, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. If the color fade effect seems like something that's right up your alley, I want you to put hashtag color fade in the comment section below. Here we are in Power Director Mobile. The color fade effect can be used to change a color clip to black and white, or it can be used to change a black and white clip to color. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the color fade effect for your videos. Let's add a little color to your life. First thing that you wanna do is bring a video clip down into the main video track. So you wanna tap on the media icon. You wanna make sure that you're on the video section. Then you want to go to the location on your device where your video is located, tap on that video, and then you want to tap on the plus sign, and it will add it to the main video track right where your playhead is located. Then you want to tap on back, and you want to tap back. So for this video, we want to trim this down because we don't want it to be so long. So we're going to tap on a video clip, hold our finger over the node at the beginning, and we're going to trim this in. And that's good right there. Next thing that we need to do is we want to add the same video clip to the overlay track. So we're going to tap on back. Then we're going to tap on the overlay icon and you want to tap on video and it should bring you to the video tab. And then you want to go to the location on your device where that video is located, tap on that video and tap on the plus sign and it will add it to the overlay track. Then you want to tap back and tap back. Next thing we want to do is resize this video. So we're going to tap on the clip and then we're going to pinch out until it fills the screen. And that's good there. And then we want to drag the video over because I want to trim this down to be the same exact duration as the one above. So I'm going to tap on it. I'm going to hold my finger over this node and I'm going to move this in. And that's good there. Now I'm going to drag this over underneath the other video clip. And it should be the same length. I'll tap on it again. And this time I'm going to make it half the length of the clip above. And that's good there. Next thing I need to do is I want to change the video track above to black and white. So I'm going to tap on the main video clip. I'm going to tap on the edit icon. And then I want to go ahead and tap on color. And I'm going to tap on the adjustment section. And I'm going to bring my saturation all the way down to zero. And I'm going to bring my contrast up to about 20. Now I'll tap back. And as you can see now, the video clip that's going to play first is going to be black and white. And then as we get to the next clip, it's going to be color. So what we want to do to make it transition over really well is we want to make it fade into the color piece. So we're going to tap on the overlay clip. I'm going to tap on the edit icon. Then you want to tap on fade and you want to turn on fade in. This way it doesn't just jump right to being in color. It's going to fade into color. Then you want to tap on okay. And then if we play this back, it should go from black and white to color. Perfecto. That's what I call colorific. Now, if you want to reverse things and you want to make it fade from color to black and white, then all you need to do is keep the clip on the main video track in color and then change the clip on the overlay track to black and white using the saturation and contrast like you saw me do for the other clip. And that's how you make the color fade effect 
using the Power Director mobile video editor app. If you decide that you like what the Power Director video editor app can do and you want to try it out, I'll leave a link in the video description. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.